Hey everyone, I'm back with another one of my crazy little stories. Um, most of you know I don't like thunderstorms, or if you follow me on my Facebook, thunderstorms scare me so bad they freak me out. Especially tornadoes and tornado warnings, which you will find me in my basement, in the fetal position, rocking back and forth because I can't stand them. And I'm usually just crying. But anyway, uh, I want to give a shout out to my new friend on here. Uh, I found her through Head Chef Mom, Kendall Lawrence, and I'm going to leave all of their links in the description box below. Please go check them out. Tell them that Cricket sent you. But uh, her name is Christy, and it's Cricky's, uh, her name is Christy, and it's Christy's Cooking Channel, and she lives in Georgia, too. And so, she made um, a pimento cheese the other night. And when we were talking, she brought up home interior, uh, going to home interior parties when she was little. Well, I don't know if they still do home interior parties, but, um, oh, they used to be real big. It's where people would come to your home and set up these little boards of all this expensive stuff to decorate your home with. And I think everybody I knew had the butterflies. So, uh, anyway... Uh, my aunts used to have them, it seemed like, all the time, and I would babysit all the kids who came over. But um, she brought that up, so that made me think <laughs> about one time we went to this home interiors party. Uh, when mine and my sister's kids were little, we wanted to do something to make a little extra money, so we thought, let's start selling home interiors. Um, She's the real talkative one. I'm the real shy one. If you put me in a room full of people I don't know, I'm probably not even going to talk. But, um, you know, she's good at decorating. I'm not. If I like something and put it on the wall, I don't care if it matches or not. I don't have any color scheme. My kitchen's done in M&M's. You know, it's just mis mismatch, whatever. Mismatched. So, uh, she could do the board and the talking, and I could do the paperwork and getting the orders ready. So, we contacted the lady over our district, and she said that she was having a party with some of her top ladies, showing new designs and the boards and everything, uh, and for us to come to that party. Well, we thought, okay, we'll go do that, and we left our kids with my husband, Ricky, and uh, he was going to keep the kids if we had parties. So we dressed up and my sister made sure that my hair and my makeup and my clothes matched. Because you know me, half the time I'm not going to be wearing makeup. My hair's not going to be fixed. I don't care what I look like. So um, off we go. And here in Georgia, and I know it's probably everywhere else too. Because it was in Alabama when I lived there for two years. We lived in like Tornado Alley. I'd buckle my baby, put him in his car seat, me and him would sit in the bathtub till the warnings were over. But, um, it, storms, these springtime storms will just come up from the heating of the day and, you know, just all of a sudden there'll be a tornado warning. So, off we head to another county. It took us about 45 minutes to get to this person's house who, when we got there, all these ladies was very dressed up. I mean, we were dressed up too, but we kind of got looked at funny. Nobody talked to us. It's like they didn't want us there. It was weird. Um, we didn't know where to go, what they was doing. We just kind of followed people around like a little lost puppy. Uh, and when the lady started the party, you know, she introduced us and said that we wanted to become, you know, consultants too. And people were just like, mm hmm you know, and I'm thinking, oh my goodness, I'm just sitting there. I'm not saying nothing, and honestly, neither is Grub. You know, because people act like they really didn't want us there. And when they stop to do the food and all, nobody's like, come on, it's in here, or whatever. We just kind of, I didn't eat, because I'm not going to eat in front of people I don't know anyway. So, anyway, back to the party. Uh, Richard had texted me. And said that he has the kids downstairs in the basement because they have a tornado warning. And I'm like, oh my goodness, you know, I hope it don't get bad up here. Went long after that, one of the ladies whose house we was at, her son came and says, I'm sorry to interrupt the 
party, but there is a tornado warning here, and the tornado has been spotted right down the street. I go to flipping out. I'm like, oh, I mean, I just go to flipping out. I'm like, here we are at a house that nobody knows where we're at, really. Uh, these people ain't even talking at us. A tornado's gonna hit us at this stranger's house. Oh my goodness, what are we gonna do? So, they go pull the mattress off the bed and ask us to get in the hallway with this mattress over us. And I'm just sitting under that mattress just saying, oh, girl, we're gonna die, we're gonna die. And oh, our kids ain't with us. And I hope Richard's got the kids in the basement watching over him. And what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? I'm totally just flipping out and panicking and and everything but it, it passed we were okay and then they just put the mattress back on the bed and continued with their party like it wasn't nothing and by this time I'm just a nervous wreck I'm ready to go home it, you know it was terrible um so we still kind of laugh about that now about going to that home interiors party where nobody spoke to us and it had a tornado to move through. It was terrible. <laughs> but anyway, I know that sounds crazy, but it just brought back that memory. And no, we never did sell home interiors. After that party, that was it. I didn't want nothing else to do with it. And I don't even know if they have those parties anymore. But, uh, so anyway, I want to give another shout out to another YouTuber in Georgia. His name, is, his channel's name is Smoking Hams Cooking and More. And he does cooking videos, and uh, now he's doing other types of videos and stuff. And his Easter video was the best I've ever seen. So I'm going to link his channel below too. So please go check out Christy and Smoking Hams and Head Chef, Head Chef Mom. I'm going to link their channels below. And since me and Christy and Smoking Hams is all in Georgia, uh, I've mentioned maybe doing a collab. We don't know yet what to do, so y'all give us some ideas. Would you like some southern, a southern type dish? Stories about Georgia and things that we do, you know, give us your input and we'll try to, you know, come together with what to do. But anyway, I'm going to get off here because uh, me and my son's going to go looking for kittens. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I love you all. Bye-bye. Give you a little garden update. There's all of my ivy I planted last year. And there's our rose bush. Blooming and pretty. And we was going to plant our plants today, but we got bad thunderstorms and hail and damaging winds and all coming tonight. But I want to show you all my strawberries. I don't know if you can see all the blooms. But there's strawberries all over it. Look, there's a whole cluster of strawberries right there. But there's ants all in here. So he's about to make some Nemo to put. But look at this one strawberry I found. Look. That one will be ready to pick in a couple of days. We got blooms all over it. So yay, there's our okra. They did real good coming up from seed. But we just had two little tomato plants. And these green beans that came out of our little greenhouse that we just put in here till we got the garden ready, only a few survived. So I'm just gonna leave these few in here. And then I found some uh, green beans forward hook limas and we have just a little bit left from our maybe that's a freaky looking bug a little bit left from our lima beans that was we call grandma's lima beans that came from his great grandma's garden that we had in the freezer for over 10 years but I got another strawberry plant this is going to be a container strawberry plant we got this is a park swapper tomato. We got a mild jalapeno and a hot jalapeno. And we got bell peppers. And these are our red beefsteak tomatoes. Because we don't have a lot of room. And remember that big old purple bush plant? 
been transplanted here and along here. And there's where my squirrels and my birds are. And the uh, lemon verbena. And I planted some lilies of the valleys. There, there, and there. And I'm gonna move some of the monkey grass right there. But I'll give you an update next weekend.